been uh, participating. This is here, the first edition of bystanders at this yes. What are your expectations from the president of the country, Ashwa Dubala Ahmed? Well, my expectations are, are very large and they are much. And like I've said, I am going to cause the president, I'm going to swear for the president to succeed. Because as it were, his first speech for the year 2024 is uninspiring, is unintelligent, is uncompassionate. And uh, I mean, there's nothing to be excited about. I expect more from the president of Bala Ahmed Tinubu. Year 2024 is a year that is going to be assessed, you know, true and true. And it is time and it is enough for us to stop having president that will address this country on that seat. All right? We expect him to address us on his two feet. We will see that he is ready to roll his sleeves and get into action. Yes, he has budgeted a lot of money. How are this money going to be expended? I'm going to commend the fact that in that, you know, in that budget, we have about, I think, 50 to 60 percent for capital expenditure, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, what I'm trying to say is capital expenditure has the more, you know, allocation, allocation. followed by recurring expenditure. Now, how will this money be used judiciously Judicious. is what we are after. So the expectations are so high. Before May, we expect the insecurity in play two. And I mean, every other state to have reduced by at least 80%. If that doesn't happen, there is no fit to go for a second term. He has also said that there is no room for poor performance. That's what the president said. He warned his ministers, his aides, to make sure that uh, the budget is implemented judiciously, just like uh, you, just as you said. Do you think uh, uh, it's in the right uh, direction? Well, th th those words are sweet to the ears, but to me, until I see him actually sacking one person, then I will understand that this is not just lip service. Don't forget you called for the sack of the I NSA have, yes, last year. I have been calling for the sack of the NSA. And uh, on That's Friday, really yes, on Friday, the National Assembly held, you know, they held this emergency meeting to push the bill of the appropriation. And also, Adam Sochomole, you know, I've always said that we have a representation in the National Assembly, but the Nigerians are not seeing it. They do not appreciate Adam Sochomole. Adam Sochomole is a man who is never scared, despite the fact that he belongs to the camp of the APC. He is never scared to speak true to the power until when Nigerians understand that you cannot hijack a ship until you are inside the ship. Adam Sochomole is ready to sabotage APC if they fail. But the people must be ready to show the support. What the Nigerians are doing is no, we will not support Adam. After all, it's part of them. No, it doesn't work like that. Adam Sochomole seems to be a man who keeps to conscientize National Assembly. It was, it was Adam Sochomole that came outside to leak that all National Assembly, they are carrying the TVs, they are carrying the furnitures. That why would they do that? You know what happened? National Assembly, they sanctioned as Adam Sochomole. What did Nigerians do? Nigerians did not go out, they did not even say one word. So, Adam Sochomole is a representation that we have in our National Assembly. And I am so proud, but until we see that, until we support him, okay, because our National Assembly, they need to be radicalized. They need to be radicalized because as it stands today, they are too comfortable. The National Assembly are the ones that are representing you and I. And until they are radicalized, as a matter of fact, I am, those, I am so disappointed in the Labour Party uh, members because they are not even as radical as Adam Sochomole. If you go and look at the history of the 10th Assembly, the person that they are scared of saying a word in that National Assembly today is Adam Sochomole. And Adam Sochomole belongs to APC. So my expectations are clear, okay? And I think uh, that's what I have to All say. All right, and on insecurity, let's quickly move down towards the Francis Pope said. I'm talking about uh, Pope Francis. He has prayed for an end to horror in Nigeria. I think Pope Francis needs to be cost. Cost? Yes. Praying for Nigeria. I think Pope Francis. I think. I think. I think Pope Francis has gone mad. Just two weeks or three weeks ago, he said, "Lesbianism, homosexuality should be blessed." Pope Francis will rot in hell with this deceit. Why didn't he tell Israel to pray? Pope Francis is telling Nigerians to pray when we are being killed. <laughs> in fact, may devil punish him. He's for, for, for we don't, we don't need, we don't need his heel, his heel rotting prayers. Yeah. From that is heel, you know, rotting mouth. A cock sucking uh, a, a priest. 
Listen, Pope Francis' words are not tenable and not acceptable to Nigerian Christians. Enough of that deceit. And again, we must come back home to our charlatans called general overseers. You know, I started this campaign since December that they keep deceiving our gullible, you know, Nigerians. People like Okoko and them have been deceived. They would rather drop their weapons to fight and pick up the Bible. I am sorry, what will happen is you're only going to get, you're you just going to get killed. The, the pastors that we have in Nigeria, until they begin to stand and speak truth to power. But I'm not surprised. Their biggest sponsors are the government. The president gives them a lot of money. The governors, they contribute a lot of money. This is why they see that. Let me tell you, as of it is a shame that as of December 31st, we did not have one single technological exhibition as a country. And yet people will tell me that Nigerians are intelligent. We did not have one single science and uh, technology exhibition. Not one single one, not one single one that people went there to celebrate the how we, we have done something. No. But can you count the number of churches that are exhibited? Can you count the number of churches that launched December 31st? So, I mean, this year 2024, I go cost the president. I go cost the pastors. If you do not conscientize people that Nigeria can no longer continue like this. I think some of your antagonists will be happy with uh, this latest statement by you. Of course, they see you as a very uh, great good supporter of Ashwa Dubala. I support Ashwa objectively. But this time around, you are, you are, you are I support. No, him. listen. That's I am not against him. Okay. Mind you, okay. when a father beats his child, he doesn't hate that child. Mm. No, no, no. He's only trying to ensure that he secures a better future. No, you started, you started before the end of the year. Don't forget. You it. know, so to me, that was, when, when, even, when even, expected, even, when even, expected, even the guy. The government to deliver to deliver on his promises and on the Kota court refineries. Yes, yes yeah. I did. You will criticize me. Yes, I did. I said, you are, you are somehow going against the government now. Listen. Because I, of the failure. I, no, no, I don't want you to put it like that. That's not, okay. that's not the interpretation. Okay. I am objectively criticizing. Criticization doesn't mean I hate him. No, I'm not saying you are. Yeah. No, no, I need to clarify for, for people like Udeze, Chima, and, uh, you know, King Joe and the mm, likes. Mm, mm. They need to see that I will criticize this and I'm not scared and I will not take any prisoner if you underperform. Because I, as a person, I am not a Midoka. We understand that you need a period of time to understand what is on ground. But new, new Rubadu has failed us. Let me tell you, new Rubadu should be, his face should be all over our national TVs, even than the president. People should be asking a question now. If new Rubadu was actually effective, People should be thinking that New Rubadu is the president because ordinarily New Rubadu should be coming out on a daily basis asking the service chief of staff what is happening. Bauchi is where these terrorists come to attack them in play two and they walk, they use their leg, they go work out two weeks, enter play two, kill, they work out two weeks, go back. So you mean within these two weeks these guys cannot be apprehended? And New Rubadu is silent about it. So it simply means that New Rubadu as a full animal or whatever he is, as a Kanuri, because about is in North East, that means probably his complices. And I should you until he's told that his first thing that he has to solve is security. Everything will sit on a secured nation. Our sovereignty is being threatened. If I am in Plato today, I will not call myself an Nigeria anymore. I will not. Because I cannot be in my own community. My state governor has failed me totally. Now, let me tell you, the most important person in your life is even your is, is government. Have you seen the reason why the Igbos are agitating for freedom? Le the Igbos are. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. No, no, don't, don't, no, you don't, when, don't, when don't. The country is not secure. Don't, don't, don't let me dive into that conversation. No, I'm just saying, it's one because, of the reasons. Because when I dive, no, reasons. when I dive into that, they, they really do not like to listen to the truth, okay, and they are going to hate me. Okay, let's, let's move. So let's they are right. going to hate me. So I don't want to dive into that. All right, okay. All right, all right. Because the Igbos are all about cutting the head. No, 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 that doesn't work like that. So uh, I'm, I'm not, they have an headache, but they believe that they have to cut the head. So this is why I'm always against their own agitation. All right, okay? thank you so much. Yeah, okay. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Happy New Year to How you. All right, uh, what are your expectations for this year? Uh, yes, and as um, regards the 